We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. All right, everyone, I need your help. Okay, listen, this is what's going on. 71% of you watching my videos aren't subscribed. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free. It helps you out. Make sure you don't miss any content. That way you won't miss when I'm in your city and traveling because I'd love to meet you all. It helps me out as well. So please everybody hit that subscribe button. Come on, that's like seven out of 10 people watching this video are not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. Do it now. You won't regret it. And I would like to sincerely welcome you to the Happy Healthy Hungry Family. Look at the size of these bowls. There's my good friend, Mr. Joel. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, my good friend, Mr. Scott. And so today we're at Luigi's Pasta House. I think you guys can see the sign. Yeah, Luigi's Pasta House. So we're here to do a spaghetti challenge. A lot of people said, hey, you've never done a spaghetti challenge. Well, now I will. I will officially do a pasta. I've already done a pasta challenge, but I'll do a spaghetti challenge. So here it's their monster pasta, spaghetti, whatever challenge. So we have three pounds of spaghetti. We have three pounds of meat sauce. And I think we have- Half a loaf of garlic bread, I believe it is. Yeah, half a loaf of garlic yeah. bread, maybe an hour. I'll get you the final details. But let's head on in. If we, we complete it, we get the meal for free. If not, I think it's like 30, 40 bucks. So wish us luck and let's eat some pasta. Everyone, so here we are with the challenge. Absolutely massive. So whack of noodles, whack of sauce. We also have a full freaking loaf of garlic bread here. Uh, so apparently the record is maybe like 20-ish minutes. Um, and that being said, we do have one hour to complete it. So hopefully we can complete this. It smells really good. Scott, what do you think, brother? Yeah, it looks delicious. I'm starving as usual. So I'm ready to, uh, yeah, crush this. In that case, we better get started. Here, say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Enjoy, Scott. Thank you, too. <laughs> mm. That's a good taste of sauce. Nope. It was hot. Definitely hot underneath, that's for sure. Yeah. Won't have to worry about this thing going cold anytime soon. Scott's cutting it all up. I might do that as well. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it's the easiest way to get it down. Hey everyone, welcome to this video and what is my officially my first spaghetti challenge. So I've done a pasta challenge at home before, but here I am doing a spaghetti challenge. Spaghetti has been really a well-requested item for quite some time, so I'm very happy to finally produce you a spaghetti challenge. Well it tastes really good, so yeah, it tastes nice. Mm -hmm. Water might be a good call. So the challenge was supposed to be three pounds of noodles, three pounds of sauce, and then a loaf of garlic bread. I definitely think there was a lot of noodles. Um, I mean, it, I would say there was at least three pounds. Um, and they were very, very, very hot. Even though we waited a significant amount of time for the dish to cool off, um, just the way that dish was, the way the noodles were, it really helped uh, to incubate the heat. So the bottom noodles were absolutely scorching, um, even though the thin layer on top seemed to be a little cooler. Um, at least so we thought before we dove into it. Um, here with my good friend Scott, of course. And this is a very well-known challenge in the Regina area. There has been like so many attempts um, like countless attempts. In fact, I, would, I bet like every young man in Regina has tried this challenge at some point. However, there were only a few winners in the many years of this challenge's existence, and of course, we were hoping to get on that wall as well. You can feel my internal temperature rising. The sauce on the spaghetti tasted very good. Um, the noodles, I mean, were pretty standard. I mean, it was spaghetti noodles, uh, but not that that was a bad thing. Uh, that being said, the sauce was definitely good, and I definitely really enjoyed the flavor of that sauce. Um, besides that, it's pretty straightforward. I hope we did have uh, one hour to complete this challenge, and they figured their record was somewhere around 20-some, uh, 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, 
anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll tune on in. I think that's, that's pretty much about it, but definitely a well-known food challenge in, there, in and around Regina. Whenever you brought up food challenges in Regina, this was brought up. In fact, I remember previously I've even had a few people mention this in comments before um, about doing this challenge in Regina. Woo! That's a lot of noodles. Very fast. Scott's absolutely crushing this thing. Thank you, my friend. You too. I'm doing not too bad. So hopefully we can get some wins. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll try to get some free spaghetti out of it nonetheless. So with that, everybody, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. And uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Bay leaf. Mm, cut my mouth. I'm gonna eat that. Alright, so pretty much done my pasta. Scott is too. So now, whew, going for this garlic bread. feel about 30 degrees hotter. Mm -hmm. Let me just throw five minutes in by the way. Frank and say we're both hopefully gonna get that 30 minute record, or just 20 minute record. Excuse me. Ooh. Alright, down to the garlic bread. How is it? It's good. I'll get those out of the way. Thank you. My favorite. Buttery. Quite soft in the middle. <clears throat> Crispy outside. Mm-hmm.
you're done. About seven minutes, 34 seconds, something like that. So we did get a new record. So that's literally just one bite behind me. So he's gonna crush that. Probably, I'm gonna call it, say, 8.03. Let's see what happens. The suspense. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, I'm done. 757. I underestimated you there, Scott. Sorry about that. That's all right. <laughs> Whole six seconds. What about everybody? Thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed today's video. So yeah, really cool, cool spot here in China. Uh, how'd you, what do you think of the pasta, dude? Yeah, it was good. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little something there. <clears throat> Water? Yeah. It was, <clears throat> it was good. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I like the pasta. Uh, it was actually a lot more noodles than I thought in that bowl. <clears throat> it was kind of deceiving. Uh, how much pasta was actually in there. I do agree though, like, so, I mean, the bowl is super, super, super wide, yeah. but that base is super deep actually, and very expansive as well. So definitely a lot of noodles. Uh, I like sauce, I probably would have taken some more sauce. Like, yeah. It was good, yeah. the sauce had a lot of good flavor to it, uh, noodles were pretty good as well. So with that everybody, thanks so much for watching, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're ever in the Regina era, Luigi's, really cool place to check out. And uh, yeah, basically that, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, don't do what we do, of course, Abby! Awesome, and a huge thanks to our friends, Mr. TJ and Ms. Rima for coming on out, supporting us today. TJ did this challenge before, and I think he said he's gonna do it again, and he's gonna smoke it, so we'll see what happens, see what happens. So with that, everybody, you know, huge thanks for watching. Really had a lot of fun here in Regina. It was a really cool little spot. Uh, and get there is not just dirt roads. There is actual gravel roads and pavement, so that's great. <laughs> so hey, thank you both for coming out. Really appreciate it, and until uh, next time, you know what to do.